Good morning. Hey, that was pretty good. All right, hey, we're going to go ahead and start our chapel. Welcome to chapel. Welcome to your first day of school. Let's go ahead and stand up. We're going to sing our first song, the hippo song. All right. So if you have never heard of the hippo song, let me teach you the actions. We're going to sing, in the beginning, God made the seas and the forest filled with trees. He made the mountains up so high, and at the top he placed the sky. God's fingerprints are everywhere, just to show how much he cares. And in between, he had loads of fun. He made a hippo that weighed a ton. Hip, hip, hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray, God made all of us. So that last part, you get to spin in a full circle. The first time, you're going to sing it nice and low. The next time, you're going to sing it super high. All right, and we're going to start the song nice and slow, and then we'll speed it up, but I might try to trick you, and I might go really, really fast, and then really, really slow, and then really, really fast, and then really slow. You guys think you can follow? All right, here we go.
All right, you guys can be seated. All right, you can sit now. Test one, two. Hey, there we go. All right. Hey, let's pray together now. This is Luther's morning prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me safe from sin and every evil that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right. Hey, we're going to start today's message with a question. And I'm going to read it, because I know not all of us read here, but... Does it feel good to be back at school? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't know what to say, look back at Mr. Rensner. Two thumbs up, he says. He says it feels great to be back at school. Okay. Now, one more question here. What does it mean if something is good for you? The question was before, like, does it feel good to be back at school? So, we, so what does that really mean if something is good? What does that mean? What do you think it means? It means it feels good to be back at school. Okay, but what is, but what is good? Good is kind of hard to, to explain sometimes. You can put your hands down for a second. Good kind of means, like, it can mean a couple different things. It can mean, like, we like it. Or you can be good at different things. Raise your hand if you think you are really good at basketball. Raise your hand if you think you are really good at dancing. Raise your hand if you think you are really good at telling jokes. All right. Raise your hand if you think you are really good in the classroom. Oh, okay. All right. Good to know. All right. Good can mean lots of different things. Good can mean you are you know how to do something really well. Good can also mean that it is good for you, meaning it's for your benefit, meaning it helps you. So there are some things that are good for you, and there are some things that are bad for you. We're going to play a game now, and this game is called, Is It Good For You? I'm going to put a picture up on the screen. If you think that this thing is good for you, I want you to stand up. If you think it's bad for you, I want you to stay in your chair. All right, so here's our first one. Is it good for you being in school? If you think it's good for you, go ahead and stand. All right. All right, most of you would agree that it's good for you to be in school because you get to learn different things. You get to learn new skills. You get to learn new facts. It's good for you to be in school. All right, you can sit. Here's our next one. Is it good for you to take a metal fork and put it in an electrical outlet? Stand up if you think that's good for you. Sit down if you think it's bad for you. Hey, that's good. You guys all know this is bad for you. What's going to happen if I took a metal fork and put it in an outlet? I'm going to get electrocuted. That's right. That is not good for you. All right, here's one more. 
And you guys probably don't have to worry about this one yet, but maybe you've got older brothers or sisters who do. This is deodorant. And when you get older, you start to smell. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Hardiman agrees. All the teachers agree. Deodorant is good for you. All right, you guys can all sit. All right, last one. Shh, shh, shh. Everyone, you got it? We're going to look at it when everyone's quiet. All right, here's a really tricky one, okay? Here it is. Is it good for you to eat Brussels sprouts? Okay, we got mixed, mixed answers here. All right, you guys can all be seated. So Brussels sprouts, raise your hands if you've ever had Brussels sprouts before. Okay, here's the thing about Brussels sprouts. Are you guys ready? You can, you can all sit, you can put your hands down. Brussels sprouts, sometimes you cook them and they stink. They smell pretty bad. But here's the thing, if you cook them right, they get crispy and you can put salt on them and they are really, really good. And either way, if you eat them, Guess what Brussels sprouts have? Lots of nutrients that are really healthy for your body. So even if you don't like Brussels sprouts, they are good for you. They help you grow, that's right. Okay, so here's our question. All these things, are they good for you? This year, we are learning about some things that are good for us. And I wanna read this Bible verse for you. This is Romans 8.28, this says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So God works for your what? Your good, right? God is doing things all around you that are good for you. Sometimes we don't see those things. Sometimes we don't understand those things. Sometimes we don't like those things, like eating Brussels sprouts. But we know that God is working and doing good things for us. So here's our theme for this school year. Our theme this year is see the good. It's based off that Bible verse. So when we come to chapel and throughout our year, we're going to be challenging ourselves to see the good things that God is doing all around us every single day. Keep that in mind as we go about our year. Think hey, even if I don't like this thing, even if I don't understand this thing, maybe God is still doing something good here. So will you guys pre please fold your hands and pray with me? Dear Lord, thank you so much that you work for our good. You're doing things all around us, many things we can see, many things we can't see, but we know that you are always doing things to help us, and you do those things because you love us so much. Please give us the strength this school year to always see the good that you are doing. Amen. All right, and let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, and then we're going to stand up for our next song. Okay, this song is called Open the Eyes of My Heart, and it's a really good reminder for us to, to keep our eyes open to see all of the good things that God is doing uh, all around us.
right, you can be seated. All right, so something that we do every month when we come to chapel, usually the first chapel of every month, is we remember all of our baptisms. So if you had, were baptized in either July or in August, then I'm going to call your name, and you can stand up right where you are. All right, and I'm going to read off this whole list because there might be some people um, that are older who aren't here, and you can tell them happy baptismal birthday. So we have Evan Presoff. Mikkel Horswell Anderson, Joshua from 3-4, um, Oliver Strom, and Jason Bolton, Damon Honabrink, Alyssa Gaskins, Luke Evans, Pastor Ebert, Mrs. Speldy, Mrs. Skojak, and Mrs. Schemes. Those are all of our July, and then also for our, our August baptisms, we have Benjamin Kamen, Landon Waterman, Maddox Engelking, Connor Strom, Noah Alexander, Mrs. Trammell, and Mrs. Armeo. So there are going to be some words on the screen here, and we're going to talk a little bit about what baptism is, and then there will be words that we're all going to say together. So the Apostle Paul reminds us, he says, Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. In baptism, God has adopted us as his own child and called us to follow after him in faith. Therefore, we now reaffirm our faith using Psalm 23. So this is the section you'll see at the top. It says leader. That's the part that I'm going to read. And then where it says all, everyone here is going to say those, even if you're not standing up. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall. He leads me beside still waters. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, let's go from the beginning. We're getting slides mixed up here. In baptism, God has adopted us as his own child and called us to follow after him in faith. Therefore, we now reaffirm our faith using Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May our Lord bless and keep you as you continue in this Christian faith, as you live each day by the riches of his grace prepared by God for every challenge. Amen. All right, if you are standing, you can go ahead and sit down. And now we invite Mr. Rensner forward to lead us in some announcements. Good morning. Welcome to the 2021-22 school year, Calvary Lutheran Church and School 72nd school year. And to bring the year in with our traditional bell ringing, Mr. Schwark and Mrs. Schwark. Let's welcome Mr. Schwark and Mrs. Schwark. All right. Hey, I heard some clapping and I know it wasn't for me, but were you guys clapping for her? There we go, there we go. All right, this opens up our 72nd year here at Calvary. And throughout all, those, throughout all those years, Calvary has grown and they've taught a lot of children throughout all the years a good Christian education. I started, oh good golly, I'm gonna say um, 50 years ago. So anyway, if anyone wants to figure out the math there, maybe it was actually 53 years ago. But anyway, where are the first graders at? Right here. 
right here. Why don't you guys all stand up? All stand up. Now look over at the lady here in the red shirt and just kind of wave at her. So she always loves to see the first graders every year and look how large of a class that is. That is awesome. First graders, go ahead and have a seat. I don't want you guys to wait any longer because we want the school year to start. So we always ring the bell. So we're going to have Mrs. Schwark, if you would please stand up. We're going to have her ring the bell, but before we do that, I want everybody to know this is a very special year for Mrs. Schwark. She is turning 100 years old. Is that amazing? That is a long time. So, anyway, I just want you to know that, and when you guys are out playing in recess and you're out in the schoolyard, she is watching you, just to let you know. So, let's head on over here, and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna raise my finger up, it's gonna be, and everybody's gonna say it together, we're gonna go one, two, three, ring that bell. So, I wanna make sure that she hears that, so you need to say it really loud. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready? Yeah. That's how loud we need to be. So, here we go. One, two, three. Ring that bell. All righty, welcome to the new school year. We thank and praise God for the Schwarks. For those that are new, Mr. Schwark was the first principal of Calvary Lutheran School in 1950. And they reside right next door in the greenhouse. And Mr. Schwark has not missed a opening or closing chapel service over those 72 years. So praise God. We welcome parents and grandparents and guests to chapel this morning as we begin the school year. One thing for you to know as students is God has given us a tremendous gift here at Calvary Lutheran Church and School. Imagine sitting outside later today when it's 90 plus degrees and very, very hot and humid. We have air conditioning. Many other things were done over the summertime for you as students as you enter the school. So it's your job to take care of it to take care of the facilities that God has given to us. We thank him for those and we show him honor and respect by taking care of those items. Any other announcements to start our school year? You see some kids sitting in the pews with you and new kids to the school. Make sure you introduce yourself to them. Make sure they know your name. You may only have a few names to get to know, but they might have 20 some odd names to get to know. So make them feel warm and welcome as we indeed begin this year in God's blessings. Have a great day.